stay with me here <laughs> and think outside of the box. Too. Um, this is most definitely a long-term goal. And this is something that would require all of us, and then when somebody comes along and convinces the voters to vote us out of office, the next group to stay focused on. But um, tourism is a, a big part of of an overall strategy for quality of life, for economic development. And I think that based on all the things I've learned just in my, my short time as commissioner, is that is that you grow by playing to your strengths first. And then you kind of slowly become what you want to be by focusing on um, sort of counting what you are. <clears throat> and if we are nothing else in this area, we are really good at sports. Sport, uh, youth sports, youth athletic. Um, I've got five children that, that are involved. We spend a lot of our time, a lot of our money on sports. Um, I've had four meetings since I've been a commissioner that I haven't shared with any other commissioner about um, because I wanted to see what the what the um, possibility was. But um, with tourism being so integral, what we're trying to do here, uh, I think that Lounge the Lounge Board Commissioners, the relevant authorities, and the relevant municipalities, I think that we could bring a, a minor league baseball team or a minor league soccer team to this area to promote tourism, um, to promote youth sports. It's the sort of activity that, that if we're looking to grow economic development, I think that, that potential employers would like. As far as the quality of life issue, it would be tourism money, it would be money for for Brooks County and Cook County, it would be money, depending on where they're coming from, for um, you know, Southland County and people are coming from, from Florida. And the four meetings I've had, they said that the Lowndes County population may not be quite enough to attract it, but our regional population certainly would be enough to attract something like that. So I would like to see us move in a direction where we could be in a position in the next 20 years to be able to offer or be able to, to recruit a minor league baseball team to Lowndes County. We don't even really have a good place to play youth baseball right now. I mean, not if you want to have a large church. We've got a couple places to play, but I think anybody with kids like mine play baseball will tell you, and I've got a dog that plays soccer as well. If you want to play soccer, you have to go somewhere else. And if you want to play baseball, you almost have to go somewhere else if you're not a member of the boys club. And so I would like for us to work with municipalities and counties around us certainly with Parks and Rec, maybe even at some point the Industrial Authority, and the issue um, to move in a direction where we could recruit a minor league baseball team. I lived in, I went to college in Cleveland, Tennessee, and we had a um, minor league team 30 miles up the road in, uh, in Chattanooga. And we used to go to the baseball game all the time. Everybody went. They weren't that expensive to go, but they were, they were high on the list of quality of life. So the goal is sort of a multifaceted goal. The, the ultimate goal for me would be by 2024 um, to be able to actively recruit a minor league team to the area. Um, that's a specific goal. I think you measure it certain ways. I think that you have to measure it along the way. Um, the first would be to complete a to have a, a place to play baseball, to have a baseball complex like the soccer complex we're, we're trying to do. Then it would be to build a stadium um, in conjunction with VSU for the major VSU baseball team to play in. Um, and then, of um, being relevant, I don't know how you measure relevant other than if we had something like that here, even all the steps along the way to get you there would, would increase tourism and tourism dollars, and I think it would increase our quality of life, and I think it would increase, it'd be another straw in our cap for economic development, uh, trying to recruit large companies here. Uh, time base, I think 20 years is probably on the, um, if I could get something like that done in 20 years, I think that would be a great accomplishment, and I think that it may even be a longer term goal uh, than that, but certainly that's a long term goal. I actually met with a couple of people that are involved in minor league baseball. Um, they were passing through and I met them here. And I sat down with them and, and you know, 
the whole title town thing really it's a it's a it's a crown in our it's a jewel in our crown in, in, the, in that regard and it put about off on the map in terms of sports certainly lost high school history of athletics and Lowndes high school's history recent history of athletics i just think it's something that we should try to capitalize on um, as a long-term goal and i keep using the same terms over and over but i think these are things that can increase our quality of life certainly um, assist us as part of an overall economic development strategy and bring a lot of tourism dollars. Okay. So you've got their uh, the cooperation targeting the recruitment of a minor league baseball team. I think maybe the first step would be putting that co-op together as far as who you all have a place at that table maybe. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I mean, possibly change that though rather than just identifying it as a minor league baseball just to say uh, professional sports? Well, it would have to be some sort of, sort of minor league farm system sure. because I work, even if you include from, you know, way across to, to Grady County, to, I mean, you just, you just don't have the people. Yeah. For, this is not even considered a small professional market. This is an outside. So we're talking small minor league market. Is what we're talking. Yeah, we used to have a single lot of you in Maryland. Oh, yeah, we had Red Sox. Yeah, we had Red Sox. So that's not yeah. a bad idea. No, and it's, and it's not something that we're unfamiliar with, but I'm, uh, I want to take it to the next level. Yeah. You know? So um, I think the goal would be to bring a minor league baseball team to Bob I think that's the goal. To recruit, whatever you want to say. I mean, you dress it up, but I, I think recruiting is a better term for recruiter minor league baseball team. And the steps along the way would require a lot of focus from a lot of different people. And it would not be something that this board would just decide that they are going to do. Yeah. Well, it would definitely, and, and I would say it would definitely take a lot of research, it would take a lot of uh, uh, work certainly to get there because be honest with you, there probably are more unsuccessful stories than right. there are success stories. And that's why I say that when you're particular venue. And that's why I say when you're measuring yourself along the way, I, I don't think although the goal here is to recruit a minor league baseball team to the to the county, I don't think that is your only goal. I think that it should be part of a larger athletic culture strategy that you have um, and you start with you know building a nice baseball complex you start there um, you start you know you, you become a place where you can hold the division, division two baseball tournaments for NCAA that's that's where so you you build and you build and you become a place that's known for its baseball and its soccer already known for football um, and then you know you kind of build steps along the way but you don't just say, I wish we had a place to play baseball. Mm -hmm. That's part of it, but that's why I say it's probably more than 30 year, even 40 year strategy. Is this something that you probably would want to work, certainly in cooperation with the tourism authority? Yeah, that's what Crazy I was saying earlier. You're, 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 I mean, it's, it's yeah, I think, I think the place you start is you start with the, with the uh, Parks and Rec authority. That's where you start. That, that's where you start. And then you build from there, and then I think you you begin working with the tourism authority, and then I think when it's time to to make that that push for a, a minor league, um, even a semi-professional team, when you start getting to that point where you want to have adult level baseball in this community, I think then you know you start getting everyone involved. The Chamber of Commerce would be involved, certainly the tourism authority would be involved, the municipalities and their representatives would be involved. And I think that you would look regionally to the counties around us. I think you start looking at, um, at Cook County, you start looking at Barry and Lanier and, and Eccles and, and uh, Brooks County, even Thomas County. Okay. Does that kind of feel like filling all of the blanks? Yes, sir. All right. Ms. Evans? 